Hi, Steve here from Steve's Internet Guide, and in this video we're going to look at creating an MQTT dashboard using ThingsBoard. Now, ThingsBoard is an open source IoT platform uh, for data visualization. You can download it and install it on your own hardware, or you can use the online demonstration um, version. And we're going to be using the online demo version for this video, and it's available at the URL there. If you go to that URL, you can create an account if you don't already have one, or you can log into your existing account. Okay, I've already created a, a dashboard, and uh, it's a dashboard to represent a house and a house with three uh, attributes, three properties. We've got a, a main door which is either open or closed. We've got a main light which is either on or off, and we've got the room temperature. Uh, which is pretty static at the moment. Now, I've got a, a Python uh, simulator running in the background, which is going to toggle the main door um, and the main light on and off and open and closed. And I've also got one for the temperature, which I'm not running at the moment, which is why it's pretty static. Now, I'm going to take you through creating this dashboard. So I'm going to create another dashboard, but basically a, a duplicate of this. I'm going to show you how we go about it, how we create the widgets and how we create the dashboard and how we create the devices. Now before we actually go in and create the the dashboard uh, I just want to show you the or outline the things board data model um, that you need to be aware of. Now it all starts off with a device. Now a device is or an object can represent a car, house, or any external object. Now each device has an ID, and we're going to use this ID, device ID, uh, to identify the device to, to things board. Now devices have attributes uh, like temperature, speed, um, door open and close, light on or off, and they send those, that, those attributes or that, that data to the dashboard uh, enclosed as JSON data. And you can see an example here, the main door and it's closed and the main light is off. Now you map that data or those data attributes to widgets and I've mapped one to this widget here and I mapped another one to this widget here and the other one to this widget here. Now there's various types of widgets you can have. You can have, um, these are card widgets uh, which you saw for the main lights and the um, the main door and then we got a temperature uh, widget which was um, a gauge type type widget now and these widgets are placed on on a dashboard so the the process that we're going to go through is we're going to create the device we're going to assign the device to the widget uh, we're going to assign the widgets to the dashboard and then we're going to add uh, widgets and edit uh, as necessary. Let's just go back to this diagram again and the devices publish on a single topic which is unusual. Um, a lot of the dashboards use um, the device ID as part of the topic name but things more doesn't. It uses a common uh, topic for all devices and it uses the device ID in the username so the username becomes the device ID and there's no password and we'll see that when I show you the the Python script okay so I've logged into things more than the first thing we need to do is create a new dashboard and so I click on the dashboards icon here and we have a list of existing dashboards and you can see that's the dashboard I showed you earlier so I click on this plus sign here to create a new dashboard and I give it a, a name I'm going to call it test house 2 and it doesn't need a description and just add now if you remember back to the diagram I showed you earlier uh, everything starts out with a device, so before we can configure this dashboard, we need to configure a device. So if I go to Devices, now 
this is the device I was using for the other demo dashboard and I could use this one with a, a new dashboard but I want to show you how to create the devices so let's add a new device and we're going to just call this house 2 and it's a default device and add so now we've got our device here now let's have a look at what it looks like so just click on house 2 now let's look at the the latest telemetry and if you look at it there's no telemetry coming from this device at the moment because it's not configured there's no there's no physical object sending data to this device so what I need to do is configure the the physical object the actual physical house to send data to this device if you remember back to the diagram I said um, devices identified the device ID uh, unfortunately that was a, a wrong choice of terms and we're actually going to use the access token not the device ID so in the Python script that I'm going to show you in a second we're going to use the access token to identify the device uh, not the device ID so I need to get a copy of that now I can get a copy by going to manage credentials and it shows me it here and I can just highlight it and control C to copy it or I can just click on copy access token here and it will copy it to the clipboard there okay so remember uh, it's the access token we want and not that device ID okay let's go to the the Python script so here's my Python script and this is the device ID I was using or sorry should I say access token I was using in the um, previous demo I'm just going to paste in the the new one and just modify it because I'll, I'll need the other one later on so we're going to be using a new device which is corresponds to, to house 2 so there it is in the Python script there now what I need to do now is to run this script and this this script will start sending data now it's going to be sending data here on this topic here and you can see it there and all we're going to be doing is be sending data and it's going to be sending um, open and closed on the main light and the main door you can see it here so this is going to be configuring or sort of sending data for the main light and, and the main door and it's going to send in the loop so it's going to be five seconds on or open and five seconds off and closed so let me run this script now and you can see it's publishing data so let me go back to the dashboard so now if I go to the latest telemetry you can see that it's picking up that data that I'm sending using using that Python script we need to be sending the data before we can start configuring the widgets so that's a very important part of it if you don't start sending data to it you can't start conf configuring the widgets to to use that data there's two ways of doing it now I can actually go to the dashboard and add widgets or I can do it directly from the device so I'm going to do it directly from the device here and I'm just going to show on widget and we're going to be using cards and there's various other types of widget here so a card and we click on this arrow here if you can see it and this is the type of card I want like that so let's go for that one and just click on add to dashboard and I need to select the dashboard and and it was test house 2 so let's put it on test house 2 and we just add it there 
So let's go and look at uh, how it appears on the on the dashboard. So there's our dashboard here. And you can see it's there. Now if I click on this edit button here, we can drag this and make it bigger so we can see it. And we can edit the properties on here so we can change it and I'll be doing that in a second. First thing I want to do though is to add the main door uh, card on here. Remember I said before we can add it from the device or we can add it from the dashboard. So now I'm going to add the next one from the from the dashboard. So I click on add new widget and similar process we're going to choose a card and we're going to use the latest values and we're going to use this type of card and now we have to add a data source and the data source was house 2 remember there it is there and we're going to click on the main door and add so there it's main door now let's uh, edit this to change the color of it we go to settings and we can change the background color make it yellow and we'll change the text and we'll make it black and we'll tick it to confirm it's OK and if we go back to the dashboard you can see it here. Now we can, I can drag these around to change the position on the dashboard here and just drag it back and when you're done you just tick on the tick box and there it is there's a, a dashboard and it's got two widgets on it uh, for the main light and the main door okay now I want to configure the temperature uh, widget now before I do that I need to have um, again a device sending temperature data to things board again I've got a Python script to do that so let me go to the, that Python script so here's our script for this I'm just going to copy the access token in here as, as part of the username I just took that from the other script notice there's no password like I said before when we talked about it earlier on and this is going to publish temperature data there's the script there it's going to run indefinitely again it's publishing on that single topic the same topic and it's going to publish sent, uh, temperature data uh, again as a, as a JSON object let's start the script running okay there it is room temperature and there it is there so let me now go back to things board and configure the widget to display this so if I click on edit, add and add a widget. Now this time I'm going to choose an analog widget. And and there's my temperature one. Again we add our data source. House 2 and a time series room temperature and we can change the settings from there now when we finish we just go add and it should be added to the dashboard there it is there now just drag it up so we can put it on sorry And make it a bit bigger and there we got our temperature sensor here 
and see it's saying about 20 degrees and if I go and check on the script you can see it's about 20 degrees and we've gone down to 18 degrees 17 and you can see it's going down here okay so there's a dashboard now one last thing we can do this is the the display when you're editing it you know you can publish this dashboard and so you can make it available to the general public so to do that you have to publish the dashboard and you have to publish the device so let's finish that there just by ticking it go to the devices and I'm going to go to house 2 and I can make it public by clicking here and now I go to the dashboard and I can make that public clicking there and it will give me the link here and I copy the link and now I'm going to open up a new window what happens here is usually you get logged off so let's just open up another window and display this dashboard okay so that's how to configure an MQT MQTT dashboard using things board and also how to make it make it public Uh, just a few resources to wrap up if you go to the the website the there's a tutorial um, that this actually video was was made from over on the site it's there's the URL for it at the right at the bottom here and if you go to that tutorial you should find links to other tutorials um, I did one on a node red um, and I did a video on node red as well and I'll put the links to that video um, in the description below. I'll also put links to the Python scripts that I used for this demo in the links below, sorry, in the description below and you can you can use those scripts um, to create your own dashboards. Okay so that's the end of the video. If you've got any comments then please leave them below. If you like the video then use the like uh, button below uh, if you want to receive notifications of new videos then you can subscribe to the channel and if you do go over to the website there's a newsletter there you can subscribe to and I publish the, a newsletter um, usually around once a month but sometimes a little bit more frequently on the latest uh, articles or tutorials or videos on, on the site. Okay so that's the end of this video until next time uh, bye.